Hi, this is Zach from Data Miner, and in just a few minutes, I'll show you how to automatically extract large sets of data with Data Miner. Now, if this is your first Data Miner instructional video, I would recommend going back and watching our part one to this series. That video covers the basic recipe process and how to extract a single page of data. You can get to that video by clicking on the link in the description below. Now let's say instead of a single page, you want to extract a whole list of JavaScript developers or a whole list of homes from Zillow. Well, DataMiner can do that, and it only takes two easy steps. Step one, extract the URL of every item from the list page. And then step two, set up an automated job which visits each URL and extracts the data from within the detail page. And then we can save it in Excel. So let's begin. For this example, we'll be looking at the data miner sandbox. Now, as mentioned, the first step is to capture each person's profile URL. So let's do that now. At this point, we have extracted the profile links from the first search results page, but it is most likely your search results will have quite a few pages and quite a number of individuals. Luckily, data miner can handle that. Data miner has a really awesome feature called pagination. Pagination automatically clicks to the next page for you and continues to extract all the information. Most recipes will have this feature and you're going to love using it. But if you ever have any trouble with the page loading, you can easily go into the pagination settings and change the wait time. This changes the time between the clicks to make sure the page has adequate time to load. So I'm going to quickly run pagination by simply clicking start auto pagination. Now, as you can see, the pages are changing, and in a second, you will see Data Miner capturing the data as we go. The rows will accumulate with each new page. Pagination will continue until it reaches the end. However, for this example, I think just a few pages is enough. To stop the pagination, just simply press Stop Pagination. Now, at this point, we will save the data and give it a name. And once the data is saved, we'll actually go to another place within the data miner extension. This new place is called Collections, and this is where you can store your data and create jobs. So let's go there now. To get to the Collections location, click on Collections in the bottom right corner. For people who have never seen this page, I'll give a quick tour. On the left, you'll see three tabs, Home, which is the current tab we are on, then Jobs. This is where the actual jobs are created, and then data collections, which is where all your data files will be stored. And Data Miner would like to remind you that we never look at your data or sell it. Now, to create a job, the first thing we must do is find our data from the search recipe. To do that, click Import CSV, navigate to where you saved the search file, and then click Open. As you can see, the file is now loaded into your Data Miner collections, and if you click on it, you will see the data imported successfully. At this point, we can now create a job. So click on the Jobs tab and begin filling out all the necessary fields. Give it a name related to the website and the information you will be collecting. Select the recipe you would like to apply to the pages we collected. If for some reason no recipes are visible, next to this field, you can write in the website you want recipes for and click Get Recipes. We should populate the list with the correct recipes. Next is source collection. This will be the file of all the URLs you have in data collection. Now the next item is a very important field, column number for URL. As I mentioned, the URL is how we get access to each page. And then the column number is referring to the place within the data file the URL is located. Whether it is an Excel file or a CSV, you have to make sure this number is the same as the column number that has the URL. Next is output name, which will be the final file that will have all the collected information. Name that accordingly. Finally, we have some advanced features available, which I encourage you to play around with, but for this example, we won't be covering any of them, except for wait time between scrapes. This feature allows you to change the amount of time between page changes. If your internet collection is slow and needs more time to load, increase the wait time. Or if you have a fast connection and want to speed up the process, to decrease the wait time. 
However, I would like to warn you, it's never a good idea to reduce the time to the minimum, which is 3 seconds, because this could interfere with the loading speed, and if that happens, you may not successfully capture the data because it did not load in time before the page changed. Now that we've completed all the necessary fields, press save. Congratulations, you just created your first job. But now comes an even more exciting part, running the job. To do that, just simply press run job and then sit back and relax. So we will run the job. Data Miner will run through all the links and extract the header information from each page. With each page scrape, you'll see the rows gradually increase as the data is collected. Now, for example purposes, I'm going to speed up this portion of the video just so you can see all the data that will be collected. And now comes another great part, seeing the results. Click on Destination Collection and select the output file that you named earlier. And voila, there's the data that you've collected so far. If there are a lot of columns, the data might be very condensed, so all you have to do is download the file of your choice and view it there. And if you click it again, you can see any updated data. Now, at this point, you can wait until the job finishes, or you can stop the job. I say we have enough, so let's stop it and download all the information to your hard drive. Go to Data Collections. Again, select the output file, and then simply press the format you'd like to download. Save it, and then just like that, you successfully created your first job and captured data from multiple pages. Wasn't that awesome? You just extracted so much data. But the most amazing part though, is that Data Miner can offer so much more. Data Miner can also do auto form filling and allow for custom recipe creation. These exciting features will have instructional videos in the tutorial page, as well as practice data. So you can continue to easily learn all the amazing features that Data Miner has. Well, that wraps up this automated job video. I hope it was helpful and until next time, happy scraping. Thank you.